The first tip is grouping allows you to preserve spacing between objects. Let me show you how. Here I have a set of circles. As you can see, we have not grouped them. Now, if I hold the shift button down and click and drag to expand these circles, see what happens. It is a very messy result. Now, let us group these objects. First, by selecting them, by clicking and dragging my cursor across, I select all these shapes. Then, I use the shortcut called Ctrl G to group. Then, if I hold the shift button down so I can maintain the proportion, I can click and drag from the corner. Now, you see that these elements are scaled while preserving the space between the items. Before I share my next tip, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com, the creator of Complete PowerPoint Foundation course. The link to the product is in the description box below. The second tip is grouping doesn't just preserve the space between elements, it also preserves the orientation when you rotate multiple objects. Here I have a set of elements. As you can see, these are not grouped together. Now let us try to rotate them. Let me right click go to size and position and here I am going to apply rotation. Let us say I want to rotate it by 45 degrees and I hit enter. Now you see all the individual elements have rotated to 45 degrees. Now let us try to rotate these elements by grouping them first. Let me click and drag to select, press Ctrl G to group, then go to size and position. Here let me apply a rotation of 45 degrees and hit enter. Now can you see the orientation is preserved while rotating the item. The next step is grouping allows you to apply gradients across multiple objects. Here we have a set of elements which are not grouped. Now let us try to apply a gradient fill here. Let me choose this gradient and let us change one of the colors to red and see the result here. Can you see that the gradient is applied to the individual elements. Now let us group these objects. By pressing Ctrl G, let us apply the gradient fill. Let us change the direction to linear right and see how the gradient is applied here. PowerPoint considers all these items to be one group and therefore the gradient is applied across the group like this. This also brings us to the next step which is grouping allows you to apply one picture across multiple objects. Here we have a set of squares arranged as a grid. Let us group them together. Let me cut this picture and paste it on this group and see what happens. When I go to fill and go to picture or texture fill and use picture source as clipboard, see what happens. The same picture is now spread across the entire grid. If I were to ungroup this, right click and go to group and say ungroup, you can see that we now have a tile of these pictures. By the way, we can use this property of being able to apply one picture across the entire grid to create some very interesting effects like this. I'll share all those ideas in my next video called Creative Uses of Grouping in PowerPoint. Wait for that video. In the same vein, knowing how to group objects allows you to apply shadow properly across multiple objects. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here we have two grids. If you didn't know the power of grouping, then if you wanted to apply a shadow to this grid, then you would have selected this and then go to effects, go to shadow and then used one of these perspective shadows and see the result. It doesn't really look appropriate. Whereas if you knew how to work with grouping, then you would have grouped this first before you applied shadow and see how the same shadow applied looks far more realistic. So knowing how to work with grouping really allows you to work with shapes effectively. The fifth tip about grouping is grouping allows you to apply realistic 3D effect across multiple objects. Let us say you created a graphic like this. Now you want to make it look even more attractive by applying 3D effects. If you didn't know about grouping, then you would select all of these elements and then go to effects, go to 3D rotation and you would have applied this perspective and see the result here. It doesn't really look attractive at all. Now let us do this after grouping it. Let us select everything, press Ctrl G to group. Now let us apply the same 3D rotation and see the difference. Go to perspective and use this option called perspective relaxed and immediately you can see the difference. Now the graphic looks far more professional. Now before we close this video, let me give you one bonus tip about grouping in PowerPoint. Grouping cancels animation. 
This is extremely important for you to work with animated templates. Now let us look at this graphic here. On a click, you can see that the graphic moves from one end to another because there is a motion path animation applied. Now let us see what happens to the same graphic when I ungroup these elements. Right click, go to group and say ungroup or you can use the shortcut called Ctrl Shift G and that also ungroups. Now let us go to animations and see in the animation pane there is no animation at all. Just as ungrouping cancels animation, grouping also cancels animation. Let me show you this example. Here we have four animations. When I go to slideshow, when I click, you can see that each of these objects is moving in different direction. Now let me select all of them, press Ctrl G to group them, instantly the animation vanishes. So be careful while grouping or ungrouping elements that have animation on them. Now what you learned are nuances in using just one tool in PowerPoint. Knowing how to use the various tools in PowerPoint the right way will make the difference between whether your slides look professional or not. So if you really want to learn how to use PowerPoint the right way, then click on the link in the description box below the video and check out details about our complete PowerPoint foundation course. If you're a professional who needs to use PowerPoint as part of your profession, then investing in this course will definitely be worth it. In the meantime, do you want to learn all the essentials of PowerPoint in under 20 minutes and impress your bosses and colleagues? Then we have just the right video for you right here. All you need to do is to click on the link watch the video and pick up some useful tips about PowerPoint that you can use in your next presentation. Go ahead, click, watch and learn PowerPoint.